Hey, y'all. Um, well, it's quarter to four, well, it's, it's almost four o'clock, and I guess you've already heard that the, um, the verdict in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial has, um, it's already out. It's not guilty on all five charges that were remaining, and right now, there is calm. And prayerfully, that's that's the way it stays. Um, I want to really reiterate what I said uh, a couple of days ago, is that Kyle Rittenhouse is not a hero. Um, I think that a lot of us would have made different decisions uh, about where we were, where we were going, or where we would have been, and you know, when, and all the, and all those things. But not with that, notwithstanding, what happened, I think the the verdict was correct. Okay, let's go ahead and say that. You know, in the front, I think that the verdict was correct, um, based on the situations that occurred. Might they had been prevented? Yeah, uh, I think that if different decisions were made um, by Kyle, um, I think that things might have turned out differently. Uh, I think that possibly some of the, you know, what he'll have to deal with for the, for the rest of his life would not have taken place. I do. Um, so, again, I don't th- I don't think that Kyle Rittenhouse is a hero by any stretch of the imagination. I, I don't like what's happened to him. Um, and, 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 you know, in, in, in this ordeal, but he did kind of put himself in that environment. And we say this all the time, and I think it's important that we are consistent. We say this to people all of the time. You might want to consider that you kind of put yourself in that place. You put yourself in that position. Uh, you put the, you you put yourself in that environment uh, where bad things can happen, and then bad things happen. Uh, we say that to people all the time, and I would say the same to Kyle. I'm glad that Kyle is going home, and and I hope that he um, learn learns an incredible amount of lessons, and that he can be a benefit to you know his community and his family. I want him to live a great and peaceful life. But one of the lessons that I hope he learned is that sometimes you put yourself in these positions. Sometimes you do. You don't, you didn't mean to, but you do. Um, I am, I am hoping, I am praying for peace. Um, not just in Kenosha, but around the country because there are people who benefit I know it seems crazy, but they benefit from the violence, um, and you know what, and and the disrupt. They benefit from it. They ben- benefit from it from a um, a monetary uh, viewpoint. Sometimes they they um, they benefit from it from a um, a power position. So my hope is that things stay calm, and that we can all, you know, look at each other and go, you know what. Yeah, that was correct. All of the evidence was was videotaped. It was all right there. And what I'm hoping is that some of the people who are who benefit from the disrupt and the violence in the next few hours, we're going to find out exactly who they are by their statements, their statements on Twitter, their statements in the press. We're going to find out who those folks are, right? And then we're going to hold them accountable when and if something happens, which is what we ought to be doing. Until we see you again, my name is Willie Lawson uh, of Fight Back Media. And um, just like always, go out there and learn something, love somebody. And for goodness sakes, y'all take care of yourself.
we'll see you when we see you. Bye-bye now.